In this week's episode of Pickleball Breakdown, Alex reveals the secret to controlling the mind of your opponent, like some sort of Vulcan mind meld for pickleball. Let's break it down. Here's how this works. You send us highlights, great plays, good plays, and not so good plays. With the help of Coach Alex Fox, we break it down. You learn, we watch, and we all get better. This is Pickleball Breakdown. All right, Alex, we have a tournament match down in Texas between Don and Eric there in the far court and Scott and Pierce in the near court. And right away, we get this interesting exchange between Eric and Pierce. Eric does a nice job of retrieving that ball there. But what I really want to talk about is Don's play when Eric goes all the way off the screen. Don does a great job of playing center field, so to speak, here. He has to cover a lot of ground uh, while Eric's getting back into position. But what he does here that I really like is he makes Scott's mind up for him by baiting him towards his line and then coming back towards the middle. He did this right before Scott was about to make contact with the ball, getting him to, I think, change course and hit it back in towards the middle where he'd prefer it because he has Eric coming back into the picture here. So how often do you think that happens in a match where you can make up your opponent's mind? It, it happens more than you would think. Anytime there's a, a long bounce, or you know that you got time to think about it. If your opponent has time to think, uh, you want to make them uncomfortable, unsure, and unconfident in those situations. You can actually sucker them into making a lot of unforced errors that way. All right, so Don's fancy footwork and head games does a number on Scott and keeps Don and Eric in the game and in the point here. Pierce kind of gives this half stab at that drive there from Eric that sets up Don on the attack now. Pierce wasn't expecting the fastball there. He was, he was caught off guard and just kind of flips it up to Don here. And now Scott and Pierce are put on defense. So this puts this whole thing in motion. And what I like about Pierce though, is he comes right back with a nice reset. Great overhead first off by Eric that, and, and then Pierce just, he has a plan here. So he backs up and is able to drop that thing right back into the kitchen. But here, Eric, he invites them up to the kitchen, which I really don't like to see. Um, I would have rathered that he just rolled this ball and back with some topspin towards the baseline and, and kept them pinned back there until they either make an unforced error or give you something to really put away. So they bring Pierce and Scott back to the kitchen, but then they decline the invitation because Pierce just backs up there and, and takes that dink on the bounce. I would have liked to see him attack that ball and, and drive Don and Eric back uh, towards the baseline. It might not have been a clear winner, but there, it was enough to, to flip the script here for sure. It leads quickly to the end of the point because Don once again plays some head games with Scott and Pierce. I really like what Don does here. He steps back off that a high bounce coming from Pierce and he really fakes with his backswing. He sells a huge backswing and gets his body momentum going in such a way to where he's faking a real hard shot here and just lands a really well-placed offensive dink right in between the two, causing a lot of confusion. So it throws Scott and Pierce off just enough to, so Pierce flubs the shot and that's, uh, that's the end of the point for Don and Eric. I'm gonna put you on the spot here. This was a really good point where all four players did some really nice things, but if you had to pick an MVP of the point, who would it be? Uh, for me, it's Don. He extended the point several times and he ended up winning the point. So for me, that's a no brainer. All right, way to go, Don. <laughs> nice play, guys. That's gonna do it for this episode of Pickleball Breakdown. If you want us to break down your game, send a link to your video to pickleballbreakdown at gmail.com. Submissions need to be a minute or less and in MP4 format. If you like this episode, share it, rate it, like it, and subscribe. See you next time.